how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Star Delta 9, medical intuitive and an energy healer. I'm back to do a collective reading for the sign of Leo for May 2021. If you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, why the heck not? Get on over there and subscribe to the channel, won't you? I'd love, love, love to have you. What's going on, Leo? What's going on with you? I hope you're having a fabulous day, and May is an awesome month for you. May 2021. Let's do this, Leo. Sound off in the comment section below. You know that's your section, as always. Take what fits and resonates with you and leave the rest. Give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you, Leo, and share the content, please. I would appreciate it so, so much. Let's do this, baby. Spirit, angels, and guides, what's going on with Leo for the month of May? Please show me clearly, Spirit. The Page of Wands, some sort of good news you're having here. Fixed Earth sign. Maybe you're looking at that wand, growing something, waiting for it to come to a flower from a bud. A knight of cups coming in. He might be bringing in some sort of proposal for you. What's crossing this proposal? The five of pentacles is on the bottom. The magician is crossing you with the knight of pentacles in reverse. So a leap of faith or a new beginning is crossing you. Maybe you're thinking it's a risk with my quintessential here. The Knight of Pentacles is in your found crowning energy, yet he's in reverse. So it's a standstill, some sort of standstill due to some irresponsibility and the Hierophant in reverse. Maybe you're feeling very vulnerable because... Something was foolish or unorthodox even, and it's caused some sort of invulnerability with yourself or a king of cups, a Libra Scorpio, a charismatic constant in your life. The outcome is the queen of wands. Well, she's an intuitive loving woman, very passionate, very fond to a victory, wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups is the energy you're taking on. That is that is a, a wish fulfilled. So somebody manifested this, Leo. The star is in your environment. Your hopes and fears is the five of wands in reverse. That's a new opportunity because you're having some harmony and some generosity with something. That's Leo showing up. You're showing up, Leo. And then the Seven of Pentacles is your outcome. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. So maybe some type of relationship issue going on here. Looking for your ships to come in. No, thank you, Spirit. Center of your reading is the Page. Immature, young, uh, uh, feeling uh, a little young and immature in a situation or you're dealing with someone younger than you and a Knight of Cups offering you some sort of proposal, Aquarius, Pisces. But you're manifesting something, possibly a new beginning, right? An adventure, an opportunity. It's a risk, yes, and maybe that's what you're thinking about and maybe that's why this Knight of Pentacles is in reverse in a standstill. This is a this is carelessness even. What is this that you're manifesting here, Leo? What's Leo manifesting here? Movement, victory. <coughs> manifesting movement, perseverance, uh, having some adversity regarding some situation, maybe an imbalance. Maybe that's the standstill, the imbalance. 
to a four of cups, but the four of cups comes out in reverse saying, now I have some goals and some new ambitions and I'm going to take this new beginning. In the crowning energy, there's a knight, a knight. Remember, it's a knight. He's standing still. He might be a little careless, irresponsible. What's this knight doing? This knight's going to go down the hill, walk around, reevaluate things, reassess things. He's departing, leaving a situation, feels abandoned. What's this abandonment about, Spirit? What is this abandonment about? The sun is shining here, so they're going to come back around, pick up those cups, and the sun is shining here. So you have health, prosperity, satisfaction, balance going on, a new beginning, Aquarius, accomplishment, success, even marriage, satisfaction, building something. But the Hierophant over here in reverse, that's, that's saying I'm feeling a little foolish, I'm feeling a little vulnerable. What is this vulnerability, Spirit? What is this vulnerability? Because mm. of the devil in reverse. Release, enlightenment. Maybe you're recovering from a divorce, Leo. What is the devil in reverse? Mm. To the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a weakness. It's an indecision. It's having some sort of censorship restriction because she can untie herself anytime she wants and so that's the release that you're releasing this restriction and leo you're releasing this toxic restriction that has been placed upon your person and the devil coming out in reverse is is the release and recovery that's good news the devil he's releasing you might be going through a divorce with the king of cups Two of Wands in reverse landed right on it. Impatient. Someone that had some sort of impatience or even felt domineering in a situation. Could be having to do with a King of Cups. A constant, charismatic. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra Scorpio. Who is this King? Because that's in your foundation, Leo. Yep. So you have a knight of swords that's going to rush in and tell you something. This is a brave, clever person, right? Taurus or Gemini. But this could be a constant in your life, a, a strong masculine energy that's going to come in and stress some truth to you about this situation. And it is, with the six of wands, a victory, just like I said, wish fulfilled and a victory. Someone manifested this and it's happened to a queen. It happened to a loving, intuitive mother, Pisces, Aries, right? Or I'm, yeah, Pisces, Aries. Yeah, I'm like, I was going to say Scorpio, but it's not. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse said that this was somebody that was greedy and it surrounded some sort of money. Some sort of money and value. Mm -hmm. To the Six of Cups in reverse saying, this friendship has disappointed me from the past and I have come into a wish fulfillment and I'm healing with the star card here. And the five of wands is in reverse saying, now I have some harmony and a new opportunity to move forward. I'm planting some seeds and I'm just waiting. What is this? What is this spirit? What is this? What is this nine of cups here? What is this nine of cups? So you're resting, you're in exile, you've temporarily retreated from a situation because you felt with the nine of swords that you had been, that, that, that this was suspicious to you, right? It caused some anxiety. You were up at night with Gemini and now you're resting and you've retreated from this, this, this mental energy and the star card is here and it's giving you hope, healing and balance, optimism, insight, spiritual love and hope even surrounding this five of wands in reverse, this new opportunity that you have coming. Right? You have a new opportunity coming to you, Leo. What's the star card, Spirit? Yes, yeah, see? Spirit's saying temperance yourself, Leo. Have balance here with Sagittarius. 
and you're coming out of the hermit mode and you might feel that there was some immaturity and some foolishness that was going on and it was quite hasty and it was surrounding some sort of harmony that you had or trust or romance with someone and this five of wands is saying now I'm going to take these new opportunities and move forward and plant some seeds. What is the five of wands? An indecision or imbalance in a situation. This would cause it. Take the blindfold off, Leo. The world card is perfection, success, fulfillment, a destined event. It, it's caused an indecision. There might have been a not equal give and take or reciprocity in a situation. Someone may have been breadcrumbing you, and maybe that's why you're looking down and asking, this is, you know, what I've built. This is what I've put my efforts forward into with this, with this Seven of Pentacles. Development, hard work, success, goals in sight with Taurus here. Feeling left out in the cold. 1111 might mean something to you on the camera. To hanging yourself upside down with the hangman. Trying to gain some different perspective on a situation. A tower came in. It was unexpected because somebody was holding back on you. You're healing. The star card is here, Leo. Someone was holding back, misering you. There was not equal give and take. The world came in. It's a destined event. A tower occurred, which is unexpected, and caused this situation. And you're healing, and you're leaving a situation and going from rougher waters to calmer. Wow, Leo. Amazing reading. Angel cards for you are, let's see, relax, allow yourself to sense your angels and guides like waves lapping at the shore. You're never alone in your troubles, Leo. And remember, the sun is shining here in the crowning energy, and you have a victory in the foundation and wish Fulfillment is where you're sitting, Leo. Congratulations. Free your angels. Embrace as you sit alone. Angels love you just for being you. Think of your guides and angels as your shadows. Always there. Always one step ahead of you, Leo. Embrace change. Sometimes change and towers are hard. They come in and they knock the shit out of a, a faulty foundation so you can build up a strong foundation. On the bottom of the deck, you are going from rougher waters to calmer with a victory here, Leo. Congratulations. I love doing these for you guys so, so much. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love, love, love to have you. Sound off again in the comment section if this resonated. Take quick fits and leave the rest, baby. Namaste.